Lewis Howard Latimer, born in Chelsea, Massachusetts, on September 4, 1848. Latimer was the youngest of four children. His parents were George and Rebecca Latimer. Six years before Lewis's birth, his parents escaped slavery in Virginia, but they were brought to trial in Boston. George, Lewis's father, he was represented and defended by none other than abolitionist Frederick Douglass and William Lloyd Garrison. Now, George, he eventually purchased his freedom with the help of a local minister and began raising his family. But unfortunately, in 1857, after the Dred Scott decision, George abandoned his family, possibly fearing the return of slavery in the South. And with George gone, young Lewis, he stepped up to help his mother support he and his siblings. And at age 16 in 1864, Lewis lied about his age to enlist in the United States Navy during the Civil War. And Lewis, he was a lieutenant in the Massachusetts Volunteer Militia. And Lewis returned home to Boston with an honorable discharge. And he began working at the Crosby and Gold Patent Law Office. Now, Lewis, he taught himself mechanical drawings and drafting, and his talents, they did not go unnoticed. Lewis was promoted from office boy to draftsman. And Lewis, he designed a number of inventions, which included an improved railroad car bathroom and an early air conditioning unit. And Lewis, he was also directly involved with the telephone and light bulb. Now, he helped draft the patent for Alexander Graham Bell's design of the telephone. And Lewis made an important innovation in electric lighting technology while working for the United States Electric Lighting Company in the 1880s. And Lewis, he worked with both Hiram Maxim and Thomas Edison. And Lewis's design he made a more durable carbon filament, which made incandescent lighting more practical, affordable, and longer lasting than earlier designs. Thanks to Lewis, American homes had a cheaper and safer lighting source. And in 1890, Lewis published a book titled Incandescent Electric Lighting a practical description of the Edison system. And Lewis, he continued to work as a patent consultant until 1922. And in his spare time, he taught mechanical drawings and English to immigrants at the Henry Street Settlement in New York. Lewis passed away on December the 11th, 1928 in Queens, New York. Lewis Howard Latimer, September the 4th, 1848 to December the 11th, 1928.